Hey everyone, Siddhanth here back again with another video after a very long time. Today I am going to show you guys the review of the newly released Moto G5 Plus. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Also big th uh, big shout out to Tech Easy Chance for letting me use his Moto G5 Plus. If Also if you want to see the unboxing video, I will put a link to his channel. Go ahead and subscribe and watch the unboxing video if you like. And this is the review video, so let's get started. So let's start the video with the design of the phone at front we have a 5 megapixel camera with some sensors next to it along with the earpiece which also doubles as a speaker a bit down we have a 5.5 a bit down we have a beautiful 5.2 inch display and at the bottom we have the fingerprint sensor and the right of the phone we have the power button and the volume rockers and the left we have nothing at the top we have a sim card slot and at the bottom we have a headphone jack along with the usb port for charging and data syncing at the back we have a 12 megapixel camera with has an aperture of f1.7 so it will be really great in low light photos and videos and secondary noise cancellation mic and along with the dual tone led flash and next to the bottom and a bit bottom we have the iconic motor dimple so for the specs the moto g5 plus has a snapdragon octa core processor 625 which is a 64 bit enabled along with 3 or 4 gigs of ram it has a 5.2 inch full hd display which is an ips lcd panel protected by the corning gorilla glass taking a look Taking a look at the display, it's pretty vibrant and gets really bright in outdoor conditions. As it is an IPS panel, the viewing angles are really great and the colors are excellent. No complaint at the display department. For storage, the device has 16 or 32 GB models and price, and the phone is priced at around 15,000 and 17,000 rupees for respective models. Now talking about the performance, the Moto G5 Plus can handle any day-to-day -day tasks with ease and can handle any high-end high graphics intensive game which is not surprising considering its specs. Anyway, the battery life on this phone is good. It has a 3000 mAh battery in time of roughly 3.5 three hours. However, if you are a high-end user, it may not last a full day. Now let's talk about the camera. The Moto G5 Plus has a 12 megapixel camera which can record videos in 4K. Yes, 4K and it can shoot slow motion videos at 120 FPS. The camera app UI is same as the Moto G4 Plus and the shutter speed is really fast so you can get some really cool shot. And yeah, the, the colors are really good of the camera. The, there is excellent amount of de details present. The low light image also is really good. Here are some samples. Enjoy. The phone runs on Android 7.0 Nougat and it's really close to stock Android with some customization here and there and the Moto gestures are, pre are present in the Moto G5 Plus. 
with one of the unique features called one button navigation with that you can customize the fingerprint sensor which lets you swipe left so you can go back uh, on a home page or anywhere and you can swipe right to uh, move forward it's fully customizable and a really great feature which get rid of the on screen buttons and yeah this was the review so if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and let me know what videos will i should i make in future so yeah guys this was basically it if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace